Right, let's have a look at DXY first. Now, DXY, um, we were expecting last week for the market to give us a corrective structure, and then we wanted to see what market does for us. At the moment, what we have seen is market went down slowly and then pushed right back up, taking the top. What's next? We would be expecting market to give us this small consolidation here, push up, and it won't last that long. If anything, it probably would be Monday, Tuesday, from Wednesday onwards, I'm expecting dollar to start falling back again, okay? So again, this week, even if market wants to go to the upside, it barely will break the top, probably tab 106 and then break to the downside. Uh, once market started to go to the downside, we'll expect market to tap this bottom here, 105, 105.1, somewhere in this zone here, okay? Euro dollar, Euro dollar was the trade of the week, as I've shown you from this level to pretty much this level. Market has gone very close, but came back down slowly. The way market is coming down slowly here, even if it breaks this bottom once more, it will not last that long. It will push right back up, then come back down if it wants to come back down, okay? But in all the cases for me, I need to see this one pushing to the upside in the first half of the week. Then later half of the week, I'll give you an update. But for now, in this week, first, the first few days, next 72 hours, you should be focusing on in this zone here to the upside. Pound dollar, as you know, I've been saying that to you, pound dollar needs to go and tap these bottoms here, which is what market has done. So if you have been selling the pound dollar, you did good. What we need to see for the market is to just break this bottom once more and then start to pull back up again. So from this zone, we are only looking for a buy setup in the pound dollar. And that buy setup might actually be starting any time in this week, corrective structure drop, and then push right back up from here. That will give you at least 100, 150 pips uh, for the upside. Even if market wants to go to the further downside, still there is a potential for this one to go to the upside. Aussie dollar, Aussie dollar also, it's corrective structure at the moment. As you can see here, I've drawn this one last week for you as well. This has a potential, this structure here, because all market needed to do was to break this bottom here, not this bottom here. Market did push to the upside, which is what we were expecting last week. If you have been in the buys, make sure you keep moving your stops. One more push to the upside is likely scenario here. Let the market tap this top here. And once market has done that, we'll see if probably will be one more drop before it goes back up or it's a corrective structure push up before it comes back down and then go back up. So it's the matter of either a three wave structure or a five wave structure before a drop and then push back up, okay? New Zealand dollar, New Zealand dollar as well. Again, this still has some more downside. As I've mentioned about the pound dollar, it is going to come and break these bottoms here, bring the you know, liquidity below these levels, it probably would push right back up, come right back down. From 615, if you look for a sell setup or if you find a sell setup, might not be a bad idea to actually look for a sell, breaking this, probably 80, 90 pips, then we can look for a buy setup after, okay? But for now, it's a short-term upside, break to the downside, and then push to the upside. Dollar yen, dollar yen has been going really Push, uh, pushing to the upside with the extreme good momentum. Again, I was expecting market to give me slightly push to the downside here and then push back up towards 159. It decided to just go back up here again. The dollar was stronger compared to the DXY. What's next? It's heading to break this top here. Now, because of this structure, the way market is pushing to the upside here, it is just showing me that the JXY has no strength whatsoever, okay? So what we are expecting this week would be market to break down per pretty much something like this. It's going to be a running flat here and then push right back up here. If you want to look for any trade, wait for the market to go for a break to the downside here. Something similar like this, pretty much below 1585 and then push back up to test this stop once more. Now, you, can, you might be asking the question, is it ready to go to the downside yet? Not really, because last week was the week where market could have actually gone one more drop to the downside here push back up, and then this week probably would have been a drop to the downside. But what they have decided to do was keep pushing to the upside, extended the wave in the middle. Now one more drop and then push back up to test the top will be a likely scenario here, okay? Dollar Chief was expected to push to the upside with its SNB um, interest rate. Um, they have reduced it, and then the market has pushed to the upside. I really hope some of you have actually kept this one to the upside. Again, if you have done that, 
make sure you take some partial profits because remember this possibility in this structure do exist still. Um, we have impulse, we have correction, we have impulse again, and this could easily become a messy corrective structure either as a running flat or an expanding flat before market drops back again and then push back up with this being a fifth wave in the middle, okay? Just keep that in your mind before you actually start to look for your buy setups. If you're in the buys, keep taking partials, put your stop loss in the, you know, in the profit and let the market keep crawling to the upside. But above this level here, you have to make sure you have secured your trade in a better way, okay? Because after this, there might be a push to the downside testing the bottom before market goes to the upside. In all the cases, from this level, you need to manage your trade. Possibility of break is very likely, but once market has done that, I won't be selling it. I will be waiting for this one to test this bottom, so I look for a buy setup, because that buy setup will be going to test this top here, and potentially this top as well. Dollar CAD. Now, Dollar CAD also was expected to come to the downside. I drew this one for you last week. I did say that to you. This is impulse, corrective structure in the middle here. This needs to complete the correction here for one more push to the upside. Now, again, with this CPI news, CAD might get weaker. The best case scenario would be something like this here. One, three, five, somewhere close to that. And if you get a buy setup here, then it will be a decent buy setup. Minimum testing this top here, 375. Best case scenario testing this top. Now that was the majors. Let's have a look at the other pairs. Eurocad, Eurocad also. Um, this has been going to the downside. This has crawled slowly to the upside, then break to the downside again. This is still a deeper pullback here for me. I'm not convinced that this is going to go to the downside if anything this probably would just be completing this messy structure in the middle here for push to the upside once more so keep an eye on this one here as long as market respects this bottom here you're good to go to the upside once more so again if you're looking for a buy you know exactly which level market needs to respect in order to go to the upside okay euro oz euro oz kept going to the downside slowly and then push right back up again before the market closed again Wait for the market. This is getting ready very, very soon to go and come back up to test these two tops here. Okay, these ones. So again, keep an eye on this one. Let's see what market does for us. If, if worst case scenario market does something like that, it will be just barely a tap of six zero level and then push back up. Okay. But July will be the month for this Euro Oz. They, they might mess around in the rest of this month, but July will be the month where you need to keep an eye on this one, Euro Oz. Euro Yen also has completed this corrective structure, push right back up here. Once market gives you this consolidation, it will be heading to test this top, okay? Pound CAD, Pound CAD is also pulling back. Again, we were expecting a slightly bigger pullback here. This pullback needs to come back up for a slightly bigger corrective structure, something minimum like this here. Best case scenario, this might actually be going all the way to the upside here, clearing this fair value gap even, 75 level, which means after that, we can start to look for our sell setup. But again, from this level onwards, I'm not looking for sells. I'm looking for this structure to retrace. Pound chief, pound chief as well, correctively going to the downside and then started to push to the upside. It is pretty much, um, you know, ready once market, the way market is going to the upside here, it is slightly slower than I would have liked. Again, even if market goes to the downside here, it would be even better structure, testing barely this bottom and then pushing right back up from here. So from these levels here, I'm not interested in the sales, even though I know that one more push to the downside is a likely scenario, but I would wait for that to happen so we can look for a buy setup because that buy setup, if we get it in this week, probably towards the end of this week, it will it will be a really good one. Pound Oz, Pound Oz also. Um, this has pulled back a slightly bit more. Again, broke 9-0 level, came right back up here. This week, we can expect market to pull back here and then push right back up from this level. Okay, so again, from this level, I don't see any buy setup getting ready as yet, but soon we will be seeing the buy setups getting ready. Okay, Even if market wants to go further downside to break this bottom here, testing these liquidity, they will still need to give us something like this here to the upside. So again, first part of the week, 
looking for a push to the upside might not be a bad idea. Aussie Chief, Aussie Chief also. Again, I'm expecting one more drop in all of these Aussie uh, Chief alternatives, either as a corrective structure or an impulsive structure before it goes back up. Okay. Aussie Yen, Aussie Yen also has gone breaking the top here and also tested these two tops as well. Continuously kept pushing to the upside. I do not see this one actually coming back down once more. It is pretty much going to do something similar like this or this before one more push to the upside here. This still has a lot more upside here. The only thing that I'm actually waiting for in this one would be either market making something like this, giving me a great setup or giving me some sort of a bigger structure like this before it goes back up again. I'm expecting market to make some sort of a messy structure here going up tapping 106.5, coming back down before it goes back up again. Aussie New Zealand, as we were expecting Aussie New Zealand to keep pushing to the upside, completing this corrective structure, it still has some more upside here, I can see. One more push to the upside, as soon as market comes in this zone here, look for your sell setup for a break to the downside. New Zealand Chief, New Zealand Chief also, similar to the rest of the Chief alternatives, corrective structure, or impulse to the downside before going to the upside. Again, do not trade to the downside. If you want to trade it, scalp it only. But trading to the downside will be a bit risky because anytime market can start to go to the upside after the break to the downside here, or a sharp drop and sharp push up. New Zealand Yen also went up correctively. It needs one more break to the downside, something similar like this one here for a push to the upside. So let's put it this way, if you get any pullback for any of these yen alternatives, they will be giving you a chance to get back in for a one more push to the upside. New Zealand CAD also collectively going to the downside. Remember, this is potential structure at the moment. It probably would do something like this, ending the structure with the you know, lower momentum and then push back up after. CAD yen was expected to go test this top and 15.5 and above market has pushed to the upside here. It's going to come right back down to test this 15.5 before it goes back up again. So again, this also has a potential for this structure to keep pushing to the upside to test this top as well. Chief Yen, Chief Yen kept pushing to the upside, let the market come back down once more before it goes back up. It's heading to test very close to 180, but let the market come down first, okay? Cat Chief, Cat Chief also has started to go to the upside. This is going to be a slightly messier structure here for me. I need to see this one coming back down before it goes back up. So again, as I've said, let the market do that. If you want to trade them, trade them short term. Don't hold them for longer, but they might actually be going very sharp and then push right back up again, okay? But below this level here, if you get a buy setup, do not miss that because the month of July, you might be able to gain a lot of momentum from this one to the upside, okay? Um, that is most of the Forex pairs. As I've said, I've removed some. Those that I've removed, if you want me to add and if you want me to look at them um, you know, on the requested list, do let me know. I'm happy to add them for you, okay? Perfect, let's have a look. Any particular question on that one? But let me just finish the list and then after that, we'll get back on that, okay? 